With our Build a Playlist feature, you can quickly and easily build engaging assignments for your students, consisting of standards-based learning games as well as assessments. Your assignments can contain activities toward a single learning objective, or you can combine subject areas, grade levels, and topics. Click Build a Playlist to get started. First, select either the Science or Math subject area. I'll choose Science, but I could add math activities to this playlist as well. Next, choose your grade level. I'll choose Elementary, but I'll be able to include middle school activities if needed. All grade levels are available to all teachers. The ability to include a variety of activities is great for teachers who want to use games for remediation, intervention, or extension assignments. Next, select the topic, or learning standard, that you want to focus on. You can browse the topic list, or filter the list by entering part of the code, or name, in the search bar. I'll go with Food Webs and click Next to open the Playlist Builder page. Below the Playlist timeline is the menu of all available games in the selected topic. More game tiles appear when you click the scrolling arrow. Under each game tile, you can see whether the game is an instructional or question game, approximate playtime, which can run from 5 to 30 minutes, as well as average teacher and student ratings for the game. When you hover over a game tile, you can see the recommended grade levels for the game, as well as a description of the student experience within the game. You can also see whether the game is iPad compatible or supports text-to-speech. Click the Try button to see what your students will be doing in the game, and the More Info button opens a window with much more detail, including reviews, levels and instructions, vocab words, discussion questions, and main concepts. To add the game to the playlist, you can click Add to Playlist, or you can drag and drop games into the playlist timeline. You can add activities from other topics within the grade level and subject area, or you can switch grade level or switch subject area, and choose from a new set of topics. You can also include assessments in a playlist. A quick assessment brings in a specified number of randomly selected questions from our question bank on the currently selected topic. With a custom assessment, you can choose concepts, depth of knowledge levels, and formats, view question choices and answers, and add the questions you want to include. A playlist can contain up to 10 total games and assessments. The estimated playtime, which you can use to guide your lesson planning, updates as activities are added and removed. In the playlist timeline, you can click and drag to change the order of activities. To remove an activity, click its X icon. After filling the playlist with the desired activities, the next step is to assign it to your students. If you're ready to assign just after the playlist is created, click the Assign Playlist button. Or you can assign the playlist later. In your Playlists page, the Library tab lists all playlists you've created, and you can sort the list by Most Recently Created. You'll find an Assign icon here as well. By default, a playlist will be available to all students, but you can use the drop-down menu to choose the student groups who can join this playlist. You can keep the default assignment name or change it, keeping in mind this is the assignment name that students will see when they sign in. The default duration starts on the current day and lasts till the next day. You can click on either date to change it. If you keep today's date, the assignment will be available immediately. Finally, decide whether you would like students to experience the assignment in full game mode or basic mode. Basic mode is best for devices with low memory or slow internet speeds. You can adjust your default playlist experience within your account settings. After clicking Assign, your students can sign in and join during the specified duration. You can also assign the playlist directly to Google Classroom. For details on getting your students to complete the assignment, please see our video on how students join a playlist.